Hi guys, Mary here. Today is Sunday, March 17th, and happy St. Patrick's Day to anyone who celebrates. My, my ancestors definitely did and do, um, and I felt them around me this morning when I was meditating at the beach. So for those of you who know me, um, you know that I meditate in the morning at the beach. And the morning that I did the Michael Jackson reading, I was guided to do that. And, you know, it was strange because as I drove home, I took a shower and I was getting ready for my morning, making breakfast. I just felt an urgency to read um, on Michael Jackson. <laughs> And I've never really had an opinion on, on all of that. I've, I, I really haven't. So anyway, um, I did the reading, and I only had 30 minutes between um, when I had time to do the, the video and uh, a client's reading. So I didn't have a lot of time. And I was actually quite shocked. I, I knew I was going to read the cards on Michael, but I didn't realize he was going to come in that strongly. And it was a little shocking to me and you may have noticed that I don't know anyway um, I want to thank you those of you who supported my reading and your comments thank you so much um, I want to also thank you um, to those of you who disagreed with me but were so polite in your comments I appreciate that as well um, I'd also like to thank um, someone, there was two people I think in the comments that mentioned for me to go to Amanda Ellis's website or her YouTube channel and I appreciate that. I, I hadn't realized that she read on Michael but it really helped me and I did the meditation there. So if you haven't gone to um, Amanda Ellis's YouTube channel, I highly recommend it. I've been following her for many years and um, i just like to thank her for her wisdom and her support, her gener generosity in um, sending me words of wisdom. <laughs> so thank you, Amanda, if you're watching. Um, I really, really appreciate it. It made me feel a little less alone. And I feel like those of us out there who are doing this work know the truth. Um, I have been shown, Michael was with me throughout that day and um, I was shown some information and I know now that the truth will definitely come out and um, yeah I think that's all I'm going to say on that so thank you Amanda and um, I think that's all I'm going to say yeah so um, I'd like to do an energy reading for today. This is Sunday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. So what can you tell us for today, Spirit? What can you tell us for today? Thank you so much. We have the Mirror Guardian. This is from Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors, and it says, take time to reflect. So um, spend the day, if you can, reflecting, reflecting on, um, I don't know, I feel like reflecting on I feel like so many of us are waking up. So many of us are realizing that we're spirit in a human body. And we're, a lot of us are reflecting on our past, um, letting go of things that no longer serve us, um, reflecting on where we were a year ago, six months ago, even three months ago. Um, <clears throat> I feel like there's a lot of growth, a lot of expansion. And so just kind of reflect and see how far you've come. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, I reflect back just a year ago. I can't even believe, um, you know, I was guided to bring people together that were like-minded and bring them here to Calabra. And 
we did have that one um, retreat, and it was it was beyond amazing to me anyway. And um, but a year ago, I had no idea I would be doing that. A year ago, I had no idea I'd be reading on Michael Jackson's energy. Um, you know, I think a year ago I thought, well, who am I? Who am I to read on Michael Jackson's energy? But we are all sovereign beings, and we are all divine masters, and each one of us is so much more powerful than we than we know, you know. Um, and we are all one. We are all connected. So why not me? Why not you? Right? Okay. Many of you out there are earth angels. Um, or spirit is also saying, you know, try to be an earth angel today and throughout your lifetime. If you are going throughout your day, um, just try putting some wings on, you know, and be kind to everyone that you meet and know that we are all connected and all one. And so, um, although there is dark and light in this world, this is a world of duality. And as Amanda says, the darkness serves the light. So um, try to be the light. Try to be the light in this world if you can. Um, it's hard to do every day, all day. But if you can just remind yourself periodically, um, just know that every person that you touch throughout your day, just by smiling, um, you don't know what kind of day that person's had. And just by smiling at that person or offering a kindness um, can change. Can change, can turn them around, you know? So don't underestimate the power that you have to be a light in this world. Um, Spirit wants you to look at what it, what it is in your life that you do have to be grateful for. This is the happy, happy card. And um, to me, this looks like an egg, and she's standing on an egg, and egg is all about rebirth. So um, make this the first day of the rest of your life in being that light, right? The key to opening this egg right the key to happiness and I think I've said this before is choice so you have a choice I have a choice you have a choice we all have a choice in how we want our day to go in how we want our lives to go we create our own reality and you know that new earth that we're all looking for um, it's been referred to as the event it's now it's happening. It's here. And it's all a choice. Um, you, you decide where you want to be. In my meditation every morning, um, I, I always share my gratitude and I ask for guidance, specifically on how I can be of service, um, guidance on what videos to put out, um, and how I can be of service. and. I also ask to, I ask Spirit to please help me to stay in a fifth dimension consciousness and a higher consciousness. Not easy to do. I, I go up and down because I'm in this third dimensional world. So I get pulled into 3D and then I have to remind myself and um, do what I can to uh, increase my vibration and um, my consciousness. So. It takes work, it takes inner work, it takes knowing yourself on the inside, and um, forgiving, letting go of resentment and guilt and judgment. I didn't judge those people who gave me negative comments online. I didn't judge them. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> um, but I only removed two comments, so that's pretty amazing. Um, so stay out of that 
uh, lower vibration if you can, stay out of judgment, um, and know that the choice for happiness and how you feel is your choice. Okay, um, I think I'll pull a card from, this is the I Am deck that my friend Michelle is um, created, and if you would like the deck, it's listed down below. It's all I am affirmations, and the photography is really beautiful. I'll just kind of share with you this, the beautiful, beautiful photography. Um, it's nice if you can pull this card for yourself every day. Okay. What can you share with us today, Spirit? What can you share with us today? Thank you so much. Ooh, I love this one. So true. I am manifesting. Know that you're manifesting, whether you know it or not. You are. So you want to be mindful of your thoughts, your actions, your words. You're manifesting your reality. And if you'd like to manifest happiness, <laughs> um, try to go within and, and just feel what it would be like to have everything that you needed and to be perfectly happy and content and feel that feeling and then you're putting that out to the universe and then you're just like a magnet for that so keep doing that meditation is key I know I've said that before you really have to sit with yourself you really have to get to know yourself and um, yeah I think I'll leave it there you guys have a great um, St. Patrick's Day I am going out to have corned beef and cabbage um, and potatoes, but I, I will not be eating the corned beef. <laughs> um, it's funny, my friend owns a vegan restaurant and they're doing like a vegan rendition of corned beef and cabbage, um, but that's in Connecticut. So, Anyway, I will just eat around the corned beef uh, and enjoy um, dinner out with my friends and I'm really looking forward to it. So try to get some time off today, time to meditate, time to um, reflect, and then go out and have some fun. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'd like to just mention that there are three openings for the Be The Light Retreat this May 9th through the 14th. So if you're on the fence, um, please just know there's only three openings left. So um, go to my website, thelighthousemedium.com, and go to the contact page and send me a note, or you can go to my email, thelighthousemedium at gmail.com. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Take care. Till the end